Hi everyone. Today we'll be showing you how to create custom platen size environments and also how to group them to keep all your environments clean and organized. So in NeoRip, the way you create custom size platens are by starting with the largest 16 by 20 inch platen and then creating margins both horizontally and vertically to shrink it down to a specific desired size. For example, if you wanted to shrink the width to 10 inches wide, you would have to reduce the overall width by 6 inches. So that'll be 3 inches on both sides. Now that you have the general concept, let's go ahead and create a 14 by 18 size layout. First, start with the 16 by 20 inch layout. Go to Printer Setup and click on Properties. On the bottom, you'll see the section called Page Margins. To get 14 by 18 from 16 by 20, we will remove 1 inch from both sides horizontally and also 1 inch from both sides vertically. This will remove 2 inches from each side. Now that the new layout has been created, you want to save the environment for later use. The way to do that is to go to Printer Setup. Click this button for Save Environment. Name your environment. Then click Save. Now under the Print tab, go to Manage Environment. And click this button for Add Environment. Then click on these three dots to locate the new environment. Click Open. Name this new environment. In this drop-down menu, select the environment you'd like to correlate with. Finally, click the green check mark to save. This time, let's create a custom layout for a sleeve platen. Let's say the sleeve platen is 4 by 20 inches. We will need to remove 6 inches from each side horizontally for a total of 12 inches and remove 0 inches from the vertical length. Go to Printer Setup, Properties, and add 6 inches to each horizontal side as a margin. Keep the verticals at 0 and click OK. Now you can use this to print on the sleeve whether it's at the shoulder or close to the wrist. Let's go ahead and save this environment again just like we did before. Once complete, let's now group these two custom environments that we just created. Go to Manage Environment, Grouping, click this button for Add Environment Group, name your new group, and click Enter on the keyboard. You'll now see Custom as an available group on the right side. Now go and locate your two new environments. One at a time, highlight your new environment then highlight the group you'd like to place that environment into, then click the right arrow to move the environment into the new grouping. Once complete, click the green check mark to save. Alright, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.